The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. <clears throat> so I introduce to you Father Francisco. He's the good cop out of this uh, good cop, bad cop arrangement. So he will be available for confession and spiritual direction pretty much all day. And uh, as a parenthesis, during any talk or meditation, anything, um, the priority, I would say, goes to the spiritual direction and confession. So it's not a problem. It's not like I expect you all to sit in on the talk and he's sitting there wondering what's going on. And then everyone rushes to him during your 15 minute free time. So um, after mass, then we'll start off with confession and spiritual direction. The book of the prophet Hosea is beautiful. Um, and as we meditated yesterday, it, God speaks to the people of Israel in really relational terms. He's not coming as a thundering, you know, God. He's coming trying to woo back, to coax back the people of Israel. And he says something, I think, that is relevant for this morning's or, or earlier meditation on, the, on Eve and her creation. It says, it is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Now, I never mentioned mercy or sacrifice in the morning meditation, so you'll rightly be saying, have you gone insane? Um, if you ask yourself, what is mercy? Have you ever thunk of that one? If you were to give a quick definition of mercy, my thumbnail definition would be this. It is love that comes face to face with misery. When love encounters weakness or suffering or misery of any form, the result is mercy, which is why you and I cannot be merciful to God, except in the sense that God chooses to identify himself with the least of our brothers, and in being merciful to the least of our brothers, we're, we're loving God, but mercy always implies that the person who loves reaching out to the person who is in need, recognizing out of love, recognizing this person is in need and I want to do something about it. So when, and this is Pope Francis, by the way, he always is talking about mercy. This is what he's referring to. Our faith, if Christ truly lives in our hearts and our faith has to change us, we have to get out of our comfort zone, get out of our skin and open up our eyes and see the needs of a world that is suffering, the needs of a world that is in need of conversion, the needs of so many people that are living these existential human dramas because they do not believe, they don't know Christ or they don't believe that Christ loves them or they do not have the, the relationship of intimacy with Christ, which is the only thing ultimately that will make us happy and that will enable us to form a human civilization in which we flourish. So again, the question is, what does that have to do with this morning's meditation? Well, I mentioned to you that Adam, his original mission was to cultivate the earth with that priestly function that was involved in that, and that Eve was created relationally, kind of in function of Adam to cooperate with him, but because it was not good for Adam to be alone, God created Eve 
and therefore she has there's a an extra dimension of beauty to the creation of Eve because she is intrinsically relational and this is something that in the femininity that all of you experience in a way that I don't <laughs> Um, that is intrinsic to the way that you will love. You have been made with a heart that is called to relationship and therefore to mercy. Uh, the expression, and as spouses and as parents, you deal with this all the time. You know, every time your child comes in with a skinned knee or something, what is your reaction? It is love that ex expresses itself in mercy. And seeing the child who is in need, seeing, or it's sometimes even the spouse, because the spouse can come home with all the weight of the world on his shoulders, and sometimes it's enough just for a loving wife to come and put her arms around him and just be with him. And he, the fact that he knows that he is loved gives him the strength to continue on with whatever the particular challenges are that he's facing. So, as we continue with our retreat, um, the Holy Spirit, you know, being that clever fellow that he is, has given us this reading. And I think this can be a touch point for the rest of the retreat as well. All the different lights and inspirations that God gives us, let's remember these words. It is love that I desire, mercy that I desire, and not knowledge of God, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Our Lord wants mercy and not sacrifice. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.